Good morning, guys. It is, uh, sorry, that head is really bad today. There we go. I'm sorry, on camera, it's always reversed, so you, you can't tell if you're fixing your hair or not. All right, so it is Thursday, February 23rd, uh, 2023, almost the end of the week. Uh, so let's get to the news stories of the day. I am Georgie Okanov. This is Bathro Business. Let's get into it. Uh, so it seems like a lot of the major news is about chips. Uh, NVIDIA is the first story I'm going to get to, and this is one I'm very interested in simply because, not that I'm Nostradamus or I predicted anything, it's just uh, when ChatGPT started hitting the market a few weeks ago, um, I was saying how I'm very curious to see how this is going to affect the uh, greater hardware market. I always felt like this is going to fuel hardware more than anything else. We also talked about uh, a few weeks ago about how Intel is getting left in the dust because AMD is doing amazing things and NVIDIA is doing some incredible things with the new AI chips. And that seems to be playing out uh, as expected. Uh, so NVIDIA is up right now. Uh, in the pre-market, it's up about 8%. And they did beat earnings uh, just ever so slightly. So it wasn't a monster quarter because at the end of the day, PC sales are still down, like we've talked about before. COVID's over. Nobody's going out anymore and purchasing a computer for their home office. Everybody's going back to the office. Sorry, that's my morning uh, fizzy drink. <laughs> so everybody's going back to the, uh, no longer uh, going to be working at home. Everybody's headed back to the office. And people don't need PCs. Uh, people aren't purchasing home computers as much. PC sales are down overall. And for NVIDIA, that's still a large chunk of it. At the same time, I think crypto still has a huge uh, play in that as well, simply because I think that uh, so much of crypto has been fueled by graphics. Uh, so companies like NVIDIA, AMD saw monster sales in the last couple of years simply because crypto was so large. Uh, regardless of where crypto might be going, it's still down. And because of that, those chips have suffered. However, they did ink out a good sizable profit. So earnings per share were 88 cents a share versus 81 cents as expected. Uh, revenues were 6.05 billion versus the 6 billion estimated. So uh, everybody is talking about the, their newest chip. So uh, they have this new $10,000 NVIDIA chip that is designed specifically for AI. It is the NVIDIA A100. And it is a super power chip that is designed to operate specifically for machine learning. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, product, and I think this is going to be coming into play more and more. What's interesting is right now this is being used a lot in, you know, major corporations, enterprises, things like that. What will be interesting is how far this progresses in the next few years and how much AI is going to make its way into personal home computing or even mobile computing. And I don't mean just in your phones. I think we're going to see a new AI-powered device coming to the market, uh, a new smart assistant, uh, similar to Amazon Alexa, but much more robust, much more powerful. That's just my personal opinion. That's just simply the direction I see this going because I see uh, I've been playing with ChatGPT more and more. I see its capabilities. I see its use. But I almost feel like the interface for it hasn't really been built properly yet. It still feels very clunky. I haven't used uh, Bing AI yet, um, but every time I work with ChatGPT, it just feels almost like, I don't want to say a command prompt, but it's almost like the equivalent. Uh, kind of like back in the day before GUIs were invented and before you had real graphical interfaces, you almost just typed everything into a command prompt. That's almost how ChatGPT fails. It's much more advanced, right? It's modern day. You type in something and it gives you a response. But it almost feels like for an AI, this has to be built for communication. It is a chat bot, right? And so I see this coming into play much more in personal assistance than anything else. I think we're going to see a lot of Alexas on steroids, and we'll see if Amazon is the one to do it. Um, I wouldn't count. Nobody's talking about Amazon. Everybody's talking about Google. Everybody's talking about Microsoft. Um, no one's really talking about Apple or Amazon, but I think those are the two that are maybe the most well-positioned. Just because Alexas, everybody's got them in their house. Everybody uses them so frequently. 
If you could find a way to integrate AI into that, whether Amazon develops their own or uses existing infrastructure like Chat, GPT, or Bing, or potentially Apple integrates it into Siri. And that way you'll just be able to use that on your phone and you'll say, hey Siri, what is the weather tomorrow and how should I dress? And she's going to tell you. And that's probably a bad example. You could probably do that now. But um, I'm very curious to see what that's going to play into personal use. And I think chips like this are going to start coming down in price. Currently, this chip is $10,000, but it's probably going to start coming down in price much, much more as it enters that home consumer market. So we'll see. Uh, in other chip news, uh, the Biden administration is talking about um, creating a new chip hub. So a couple of days ago, we talked about how here in Utah, we're very happy that uh, Texas Instruments is expanding their chip manufacturing with an $8 billion facility. Um, so the Secretary of Commerce, Gina Rama, Ram, I believe it's Raimondo, uh, has announced that according to the $52 billion CHIPS Act, there's going to be uh, chip hubs built, at least two independent chip hubs built here in the United States. Um, it's From the articles I read, I haven't seen where they're planning to build this, and I'm not exactly sure how centrally planned this is, uh, or if this is just that they're going to be reinvesting into places like Silicon Valley and to existing companies. But it's full steam ahead for more chips. Uh, it seems like that's where the, industry, uh, the government is wanting to focus. Not surprising with all the issues with Taiwan and everything else. So uh, I guess chips are the word of the day. Um, in other news, um, this is just a quick one. I just thought it was funny. Uh, Musk met with Gavin Newsom to discuss expansion of the engineering department uh, of Tesla, um, probably still in the Bay Area. It just makes me laugh because I'm, I'm not a huge uh, uh, fan of Elon Musk. I'm not a huge hater of Elon Musk. I think uh, people's pendulum swing too far to the left and to the right. I think he's decent. I think he overpromises and underdelivers too much, but I think you know, at the end of the day, he still created the electric car market. I don't think you can take that away from him. I think if he is able to accomplish everything he plans at Twitter, it's very interesting. Um, you know, the WeChat of America, we'll see if that actually happens. I also don't know if that's going to be feasible in the United States, just given FTC regulations. Um, we talked recently about uh, the FTC chair and how she is cracking down on a lot of tech companies, Google namely being one of them. I am not against that. I think that's a good idea. And so uh, potentially, you know, if he does want to create WeChat, he's going to have to work with regulators on how to structure that. Um, and that will be interesting if that actually happens. But um, that's kind of an aside. I think it's just very interesting that uh, despite all the talk of him leaving California, he can't leave California. So um, that was just kind of a side note. And last story of the day, there's not too much going on in the market uh, right now uh, in the pre-markets, but the GDP fourth quarter was revised slightly down. So originally uh, GDP growth for the fourth quarter was 2.9%. It's actually been revised to 2.7. Um, not a huge difference, but still it's a little hurtful, right? You, when you're looking at growth, it's um, not something you want to see that the market is smaller than you expected. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, chips seem to be the, the word of the day. That's all the, the news on the market right now is with computer chips and the advent of AI. Um, market is slightly down right now, uh, 43 points as of right now that I'm looking. Our old friend Gold is down as well. It's at 18.22, which is good. Like we discussed before, when gold is low, that's always a good thing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I kind of wanted to talk about today. Um, I will be back tomorrow talking to you guys as well. And uh, tomorrow will be the last day of the week, of course, Friday, our Friday episode. And uh, I'll try to do a little bit of a jumbo episode because I don't have to go into work until a little bit later tomorrow. So I'll try to get as many stories as I can and focus a little bit more on Utah. Uh, but that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you set amazing goals. I hope you meet those goals. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.